This man has been at the center of India's diplomatic efforts in Bangladesh in the last eight months. General Moinuddin Ahmed, head of Dhaka's military regime. But General Moin's army has a powerful military intelligence wing, the DGFI, which often operates on their own. After all, it's modeled on Pakistan's ISI. Indian agencies say that DGFI's head till early this month, Major General ATM Amin, has always been close to the ISI. He was instrumental in giving advanced training in bomb making to a new batch of Alpha cadres in Maximhat near Chittagong in April, May and June this year. The camp also trained new boys from other tribal insurgent groups from Northeast India and West Bengal, like the ATTF and KLO. It's the ISI and the DGFI which is working behind these things and it's uh, the new strategy where they would like to use the local outfits and the design and the planning would be their own. Indian investigators allege that not only radical terrorist outfits but several separatist militant groups from northeast are flexing their muscle from hideouts in Dhaka. According to an official list given by India to Bangladesh, nearly 100 Indian insurgent camps, hideouts and safe houses are based in Bangladesh. Then if you have to look at the history of violence in Assam perpetrated by Ulfa and if you see from 80 onwards, there have been a number of blasts in which uh, people have died in big numbers. Alpha's character is changing. The group's armed wing do not recruit only Assamese men anymore. They hire anyone who will carry out their agenda for a price. And their commander-in-chief Parish Barua insists that these new band of boys won't discuss political ideology in these training camps. Insurgency has degenerated into urban terrorism. And now it has given Alpha all the eyeballs and attention it has craved for several years now. In New Delhi, with V.K. Shashi Kumar and Meetu Jain, Shumon Chakraborty.